Hey, Dr. Kim, Kelsey here at Mixed Digital Marketing. Just want to leave you a quick video in regards to some SEO strategies we recommend you doing to your website to help you rank ranking high on Google. So we'll go over three things. The first is content, second is backlinks, third is citations. So content just refers to words on the page. And so in regards to your homepage, we recommend 1,000 to 1,500 words, and then each additional page, 500 to 750 words. And this just isn't any word, it's just having the right keywords and phrases included in your content, which I'll go over here in a little bit. But in terms of content on your homepage, as you can see, your design looks really good, but Google's algorithm can only determine how good a website is based on the words. It can't determine how, how nice a design is. So with that, that's why we recommend having enough words on your homepage to have and allow Google to properly um, have you rank for as many keywords as possible that relate to your business. And so here you can see that there's probably roughly 200 words maybe at most. Um, and so we definitely recommend you uplifting the amount of words that you have here on your home page, since it is the most powerful page of your website. And so again, you may be wondering, well, where do I figure out what the best keywords or keyword phrases are? So we use a software called Ahrefs. So Ahrefs allows us to plug in any website on the web and then gives us kind of some ratings and, and data behind how we can help a business grow better and rank higher in Google. So here I typed in your website, kimbraces.com. And you can see that your rank is in the millions, which is totally fine. We're talking about billions of websites on the web. So really what we care about is everything to the right. So the UR rating is a overall rating of your website, primarily the site I'm on, so your homepage, and then both in terms of on-site SEO as well as off-site SEO. So on-site SEO includes the content as well as internal links, page titles, meta descriptions, things like that um, on your website that um, we make sure is optimized. And then the off-site SEO is, are the backlinks. And so backlinks are blog posts, influencer pages, articles that have that hyperlink that links back to your website. And so this is really crucial for Google's algorithm. They like it when another website has a sort of referral that leads back to you. It's kind of just one big popularity contest and we're just trying to make it as popular as possible. So this DR rating is the designation of the overall rating of just the backlinks, the offsite SEO. So 3.4 is relatively low. So by getting better backlinks, you'll see yourself ranking higher here. And so I know here it says backlinks, they're 263, but what we really care about are referring domains. So this, these are the websites that have the backlinks on them. So you can have a thousand backlinks in one referring domain, but you only get power once per website. And so that's where we, where we want to really focus on getting more referring domains out there. And then, and then to go even deeper, we care about do follow backlinks. And so here you can see of the 29 referring domains, 15 of them are giving you power. So not every website has to give you power. And so this is where we make sure that we try to help our clients at least find more do follow backlinks. And then when a website has more power themselves, it allows you to, to receive more of that power as well. And so you'll notice that not all do follow backlinks are created equal. And when you start ranking higher here, you start ranking for more organic keywords and then your traffic and traffic value will all go up. And so I just plugged into Google Orthodontist Honolulu. So this, this search gets about 150 searches per month according to the software I was just on. And so here you'll see the Google ad section where people are paying a premium to be on the top of this Google search. And, but typically you get only about 20% of the traffic because a lot of people, it's like commercials where they just kind of skim through it, they don't like them. And so it, it really only captures a, a select of the audience. And so that leaves 80% for the rest of the field. 40% comes from the map pack here, and then 40% comes from the organic search. The number one thing that affects the map pack rating is the organic search ratings. And then the second thing is citations. So, so citations are online directories like yellow pages or even a Facebook, a Yelp page where you have your business name, address, and phone number exactly as you have it set up in Google My Business. And it's very important that they're set up exactly the same because you won't get proper credit without it. And so we have a different software that we use that allows us to see how many citations your competitors have here. And we make sure we at least get double because I mean, there's citations everywhere and they're very easy to attain. It just takes a little bit of time and we make sure we do that for you. And then so here, I wanted to quickly go through um, just the number one organic competitor here, Hawaii Orthodontists, and see what they have going on and why they're um, ranking um, relatively high here in, our, in the organic search. So here, as you can see, your your website is honestly neat, like nicer design-wise than theirs, but they do have a fair amount of content here in on their on their home page. Although there isn't that much, but definitely more than what you have, and they definitely have some good keywords that are just kind of getting pinged with within here. And but um, I also threw them into Ahrefs to see how how they were doing. So here you can see I plugged in their website and 
you can see their rank and their UR rating and their DR rating. So the UR rating is lower than yours. Um, and that's um, just sometimes that happens with some with some websites, but you can see that the domain rating is higher. So their do follow backlinks are giving them more power and thus helping support their website and helping it rank higher. It does help a little bit that their domain name does have um, the word orthodontist in it. But again, just because someone has that word in their domain does not mean that they're rank, they're rank up there. They need to make sure that they're still building the proper power, which they do have backlinks that are that is supporting that. And so those are just some quick SEO strategies I recommend you doing to your website. If you want to learn more about what we can do, um, you can visit our website, www.nixdigitalmarketing.com. Thank you.